Russian spy uh, recruiting sp oh, well, it was, it was US officials. Come on, stop, stop spreading lie and false um, news. I, I, this is a good advice for CNN. Are you that the, uh, Thank you. The best... <laughs> it's such a shame. What's happening in the American mainstream media right now is more like media vandalism. I have only one question. Have the media reached the bottom? Or is there anywhere lower they can sink? The way news outlet dared to report is an attempt to totally misinform their domestic and international viewers. It's clear the main effort is being made with the American audience. We used to call it an information campaign, then the level was raised to hysteria. No, it's even worse. It's Orwell. We understand now what he meant when he wrote about Big Brother. It's the media. They cross the line far beyond professional ethics and their competence. They accuse and judge by simply fabricating fake information. The underlying meeting is a nothing burger. It, it, it's what senators do every day. And, you know, if the Russian ambassador had called and asked for a meeting, I imagine I probably would have taken the meeting. Have you met with the Russian ambassador in your capacity? Uh, I have. I've met with the Russian ambassador with a, a group in my capacity with a group of other senators. It appears that the question he was asked during his confirmation hearing was very specific, which was something along the lines of, um, uh, have you, did you discuss uh, the, the election with any Russians? And he said no. And who can tell what he might or might not have discussed? But it, I find it very concerning that Trump appointees appear to being held, be held to a very much higher standard than most other public officials are ever held to. You know, various top intelligence officials have been caught out lying blatantly to these committees about the scope of the spy spying agencies in America. Nothing was ever done about them. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. It's becoming a sort of McCarthyite witch hunt. I wouldn't be surprised if they try and push through a law saying if you've ever knowingly spoken to a Russian, you've broken the law in America. I mean, it's that ridiculous now. We are on the cusp of a constitutional crisis. Either President Trump takes the action to purge the intelligence agencies, which have been leaking and intentionally sabotaging his new presidency, or we will find impeachment proceedings and worse ahead of us. He uh, threw General Flynn to the wolves. The result was not satisfying. The result was further hysteria among those who are looking for brain, looking for blood. And I don't think he has an option of throwing sessions to the wolves.